Fortnite. You want to play it, I'm going to teach it. I'm not wasting any time. Let's do this. Oh, and disclaimer, this video does not feature any building. This is just the absolute basics. So when the game starts, you'll be in what's called the battle bus. Here's where you check your map and choose where you want to go. When you're ready, jump out and hold forward. When necessary, deploy your glider to fall slower. Then you have to decide where exactly you want to land. Because once you do, the very next step is to loot for items. If you land on top of a roof, you can use your pickaxe to break through. Important items include weapons, ammo, healing, and shields. Now a weapon is probably the first thing you want to find because you never know if an enemy player landed close by. You want to be able to defend yourself as early as possible. You can find weapons on both the ground or within chests. They will glow a certain color that corresponds to how rare that weapon is. Gray is common, green is uncommon, blue is rare, purple is epic, and orange or gold is legendary. Better rarities mean more powerful weapons, so if you see the same weapon that has a better rarity, switch it out. Shotguns and submachine guns are good for close range shooting, while rifles are better for long range fights. But no matter what weapon you pick, you're going to need ammunition for it. Ammo can be found alongside weapons or in ammo boxes. Different types of weapons use different ammo, so make sure to always pick some up if you see some. Healing items include bandages, medkits, and food items. If you ever get hurt, and if you're in a safe spot, use these items to replenish your health. Shield items include regular and mini shield potions as well as barrels. Shield basically acts as a second health bar, so when you're getting attacked, you can take more damage. If attacked, you lose shield before losing health. It's always good to have a balanced inventory, but you also need to consider what you need for your playstyle. Some weapons shoot differently than others, and some healing items take longer to use. Always consider what's better for you. Now when you do find an enemy player, you can either fight them or run away. The end goal of the game is to be the last one standing, so if your health is too low, or you run out of ammo, or you just don't want to, you don't have to fight everyone you see. But, if you do choose to fight, don't be a sitting duck. A moving target is harder to hit. The closer you are in a fight, weapons deal more damage, so fast movement is crucial. For fights of longer distance, you don't need to move as often, but it's still good to avoid getting hit. Try to find cover if you need to quickly heal or reload your weapons. When holding a weapon, crosshairs on the middle of your screen indicate the possible range of where your shots land. For shotguns, anything within the square or triangle will get hit. For submachine guns and assault rifles, each individual shot will randomly land within that window. Aiming down sights will bring the camera closer and your crosshairs will close in, making your shot more accurate. If you see the lines completely close in on the center dot, or if your weapon uses a scope, your shot is 100% accurate. When playing, you're bound to lose fights. A lot of fights. It happens. But don't get discouraged. The more you play, the better you'll get at fighting. Alright, that's enough. Throughout the game, the playable area will get smaller and smaller thanks to the storm. On your map, you'll eventually see a white circle appear. Everything within this circle is the safe zone, and everything outside is or will be engulfed in the purple storm. If you're caught in the storm, you will slowly start to lose health, regardless of how much shield you have. The safe zone will also get smaller over time, forcing players closer together, making it harder to avoid fights. There is an indicator below your mini-map that tells you when the storm will close, and when it will be done closing. Right next to it are the amount of players left in the match, how many people you've eliminated, and if you're playing on a team, how many people your team has eliminated. And that's it. Kind of. Remember, these are only the barebone basics to winning the game. There's so much I didn't cover. Fortnite is an ever-changing game, with new items, new places, and new mechanics being introduced regularly. But everything I've covered has stayed true since the game first came out. Now go, put it in practice, uh, good luck, and you're awesome.